previously on Steven. Actually, since yesterday, by it was very intense. So, brand dami nang yare. First of all, ang tagal namin hindi nakita kita. Nagulat talang kami na parang sabi niya tulungan niyo yung anak ko or help my help this kid. Yung palang anak niyo hindi namin alam. Yung first yung rush ng first instinct mo na parang just to save that child. Na parang parang you don't. It's nice. It's parang first instinct mo na parang oh someone is about to die. You have to do something about it. And yesterday, after my relationship ended, I saw my ex there and two of my exes. So three of them I saw in one night. And I'm like, and I'm, the, the saddest part there was not seeing them there. I'm, I'm back in the alley, Moni I've been, I've been going back to the same old things, and it led me nowhere. So why, why should I go back there if it's, it's, it hasn't been successful? Because if I'm successful, I'm still. My realization is that if it led you nowhere. After trying several attempts, parang why would you still want to go back in the same old ways? And New day! Kakatapos ko lang mag-work uh, kanina. Nag-edit ako ng isang video. And I just finished um, preparing my food. So, pagkatapos ng video ko, I got a lot of messages na what I've been doing to lose weight. Um, I'm gonna show you the things that I eat. Uh, it's what I've been eating lately. Ang ngayon ng mga paligid ko, I'm sorry. Talaga sila tumatahimik, yung mga aso. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the salad I prepared. The, the salad I prepared. Ito yung isa sa mga kinakain ko lately na sobrang sarap na sarap ako. Um, let me show you. So he, here it is. Bali, meron tayong lettuce dito. Tapos may chicken breast. And then some hard-boiled eggs. Tapos I also put some cheese. A little bit of, A little bit. I also put some cheese there and potato. Ay, tomato pala, sorry. Tapos, um, just a craft um, dressing. So, parang sarap na sarap talaga ako sa kanya. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Pero medyo madami. Medyo madami siya, so nakakabusog talaga siya. So, yun. As much as possible kasi parang feeling ko kasi pag sagsasalad ka, pumapayat ka. Kasi nga parang it's healthier. Pero this one kasi I put cheese kasi ayoko nang... Ayo ko ng blood yung lasa. Gusto ko mas humalasa pa din sa And yun nga, parang kung pag kumagadayit ka naman, it's about really eating healthy food. Or at least lessening the, the food intake that you used to take. That's why you gained weight. Tapos, siyempre, sasabayan mo pa rin ng exercise. And lately, talagang very motivated ako to lose weight. Kasi ang laki talaga ng tinabaho. Ang ideal weight ko is like 142 pounds lang. And nasa 160 ako ngayon, mga benshi. <laughs> Overweight na ako. <laughs> So, laki talaga yung tinaba ko. Pero kasi, sa akin kasi, hindi mo mapapansin na mataba ko. Kasi medyo maliit, manipis yung mukha ko. Mabilis pumayat yung mukha ko. Pero ang laki ng chan ko. So, yun yung problema ko talaga. So, I'm trying to lose weight. Siyempre, para more projects. Tapos, more ano rin, more land eh. <laughs> hindi, kagaya na sabi ko, hindi talaga, wala talaga. Ayaw ko talaga laman, di ako kahit ano. Pero ito yung food, sobrang kakain na ako. Kasi nagugutom na ako. Sobrang sarap niya. 
Maybe even though you think this way. I'm sorry, because I'm testing it. I'm sorry, I'm chicken breast. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sometimes I, um, I put croutons. Because it's more delicious. But bread, pa rin yun. Eh, alam mo naman kung hindi wheat bread, hindi siya ganun ka healthy. Mas mahirap kaya tunawin yung bread kasi sa rice. It's very unhealthy. Kaya kung hindi mag mm, mag-bread ka kung hindi sa wheat bread. Don't eat bread na lang. Hey everyone, um it's a Saturday and today I'm heading to the clinic. It's um Love Yourself Clinic in Mandaluyong City, Philippines. And the reason why I'm going there is because I'm going to get tested for HIV and AIDS. And you might be wondering why I'm doing this. It's because um, there has been a recent um, um, issue with HIV in the Philippines and it's been very rampant. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many people are infected on a daily basis. And you might be asking, why do I need to get myself tested? It's because we never really know. It's our social responsibility to know our status and nothing is scarier than not knowing your status. And I just want to, to share with you guys my experience um, about how you can get yourself tested. And uh, this is not my first time to get tested. Um, I do it every every year. Actually, it's supposed to be every three months or six months or so. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, I just really want to know my status. It's not because I'm feeling anything, but it's, you know, knowing is half the battle. So yeah, I'm on my way there. It's very tricky. Saturday kasi. I think the only problem there is that you can't, uh, I can't properly vlog everything there because it's supposed to be confidential. So I'm going to vlog as much as I can without exposing anyone there or without being too nosy. Um, but um, yeah, I really want to share with you guys my experience on how you can get tested without the fear of stigma, without the fear of, you know, so it's really scary to be honest with you, no, not knowing if you have it. But it's scarier when when you might be when you might be infected already and you don't know about it. That's the problem. You know, sometimes we're too afraid to deal with things that scare us. Okay, so we're finally in the extraction room and they're going to extract uh, blood for me. Yeah. Uh, I'm painful part here, basically. I'm tired of it. So I waited for like more than an hour because there's a lot of people this weekend. It's so good. It's so So, we have to get everything when, before you get extracted. Before your blood gets extracted. But you can be sure na. Anyway, it's na. Thank you. Hey, and tapos nagyan na kabilis. Less than two minutes lang yun. Okay, presensya na kayo hindi ako na pagblog kanina kasi bawal dun sa loob sa counseling area bawal. Ang nasama ko lang yung pagkuha ng yung blood extraction. Pero after that hindi na ako na pagblog. Tapos I got there around four. Tapos yun kakatapos ko lang. It's almost um it's quarter to eight already. Sobrang daming tao. Um, sabi ng counselor kanina parang simula doon ng BJC scandal. Sobrang dami doon na nagpapatest. Um, which is good kasi parang a lot of people are becoming more aware. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of Filipinos are becoming more responsible uh, knowing uh, to know their status. And I haven't checked talaga my test result. Kasi gusto ko nga makita. Eh, sabi ko sa kanina na parang 
I'm going to open it on my own na lang kasi parang I really want to make sure I want to capture it on film eh unfortunately hindi sila pumayag kanina so sabi ko hindi eh, ako nalang mag-film mag-isa and then whatever happens kung ano man ang resulta nun so syempre I need to let them know it's the longest time although I'm very confident naman kasi parang I was exclusively dating someone for almost 2 years uh, and I've never had any contact with anyone else kaya I'm very confident na alam mo yun ano siya negative sa pero hindi natin masabi kasi sabi nga nila even if you're dating someone you never know if they're you know doing it with someone kaya parang always protect yourself pa rin whatever happens kasi you never know tapos ayun dami talagang tao kanina so ito yung test result ko um number 69 Kano ko nakikita niyo? It's done, reactive, baby! <laughs> um, okay. I'm not celebrating because it's not reactive. But of course, I am. I'm proud of myself. Um, pero I'm not judging anyone. I'm not judging anyone if ever you are. Because parang... Hindi, it's, it's really breaking the stigma. Eh. Parang whatever happens there, um, it's about being responsible if ever you are and you know HIV or AIDS is not a dead sentence like most people would say there are more people who die out of cancer or diabetes kaya kung meron man huwag kayo matakot magpatest kasi uh, all the people there are very friendly they're very approachable and they can really help you out if you have any questions with about AIDS or about HIV um, that's one thing that you have to consider na parang Wag na wag kayong matatakot kasi knowing is really half the battle. If you if you don't know where you stand, you might be infecting other people or you might be doing more harm to yourself. If ever you guys are interested to to get yourself tested, um Love Yourself Clinic offers free HIV testing and counseling. So you have to consider it talaga getting tested kasi it's very very important to know your status. Um This is a social responsibility that we all have. If we are sexually active in the community, it's something that we should be doing. Um, hindi yung pwede yung okay lang yan. Hindi, kampante ako na boyfriend ko siya, girlfriend ko siya, meron na, na exclusive kami. Um, it's really important that you get yourself tested at least every 6 or 3 months para, para alam natin anong status natin. Kasi lalo na ngayon, grabe, grabe na ang HIV cases sa Philippines and we have to do our part. Especially dun sa mga, ano saan, sa mga madali, mahilig mag-hook up or mahilig gumamit ng mga social app to, you know, to look for someone, to hang out or whatever. You really have to, ano, really have to get yourself tested and be responsible with your actions kasi yan ang pinaka pinaka importanteng ginagawa dapat sa panahon ngayon. Um, anyway, I'm on my way home. I can't wait tomorrow for tomorrow because I'm going to be meeting um, other YouTubers, other vlogs.